Alright, so what we do is we go into multiplayer LAN. I'm gonna create a test character or whatever. I don't care who. So now when we go into create game, notice on the list, my multiplayer map appears. Now I'm gonna go to create game. Uh, check it out. We uh, we link to our map, and uh, apparently I did a boo boo. What did I do wrong? Anybody can tell me what I did wrong. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Well, the floor is walkable, but apparently, um, apparently something's uh. Something's not fully connected between those rooms. Um, we can take a look at that, see what was causing that. Okay, I missed a small little detail when I was uh, making these two rooms. Um, there was something keeping me from traveling between the rooms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide some entities here so I can uh, see what's going on between these two rooms that are keeping me from traveling between them. And I just realized when you move these out, there's actually there's actually another brush right there. See that? There is there's a brush blocking my way. You can just take that brush and backspace deletion here and just move whoops. Yeah, just move this back here. And let's make take another yander here. Let's put the entities back in. So let's make sure that everything's okay. While I'm at it, I might as well do something fun. Here, I'm going to have this room. This room's going to have a mirror. I'm going to show you how to make a mirror, a working mirror. So I'm going to. I'm gonna make a thicker wall. I'm gonna increase the end, and I'm gonna have the have a big mirror on this side of the wall. So I'm gonna create a brush, and um, go under textures here. I'm going to pick a texture. I'm gonna go into Vienna. See what textures I have here. I'm gonna make a little mirror. That's the cool thing about this engine is it has support for mirrors. Um, I don't see that very often in a lot of games. It's very unfortunate that games are so bent on first-person shooting and uberness that they don't take the time to create some appreciable, appreci appreciating blah graphics stuff like that. You know. Um, and you can choose any type of texture you want for a mirror. Um, I'm going to show you essentially the whole process of getting a cool looking mirror. So let's see here. I'm going to make a thick indentation here. And, and it's, it spans. It's going to span right in there. I'm going to use the CSG subtract. Oops. Probably shouldn't have did that while uh, while sectors was on. Now I just fouled up the sectors. Isn't that fun? Well, at least you get to see what mistakes are made and how how to correct those mistakes. So if you had sectors enabled, um, you just fouled up your sector. <laughs> so delete the sector essentially, and we're just going to have to create a new one. So that's what I'm going to. Do here. I'm going to create a new sector. I'm just going to copy this one and da, da, da. Let's see here. Oh yeah, 
I need to set the grid four to make sure that the sector is properly aligned in between. Make sure that this encompasses this room. Okay. All systems go. Okay. So I'm going to go back to eight. And I'm going to indent this a little. Have it be a little bit indented. And then I'm going to right click on it after I select it here. And to create a mirror, you can set transparency. And then you set reflection. So what you need, if you're using any kind of uh, texture, you can set set it as reflective. If you add transparency, so it has to be combined with transparency to get a fully functional uh, reflection going. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to export it. And hopefully it should work without blowing up in my face. Knock on wood. Alright, so here we go. Let's let's test this out um, after we recompile it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to recompile this map here. I'm going to take and select Chronicles, Levels, and Scenes. Right click on it. Go 7-zip, add to archive. Make sure ar archive format is set to a zip format and the compression level set to store. And we're going to name the file. Make sure it has a .knob extension. So I'm naming it mymaps.knob. Press OK. Now I'm going to cut and paste this into the main directory where it will function. I need what now? Oh yeah, that's probably because uh, Embrace is running. So let's close out Embrace. Oh, poopy. Let's go back in here. Cut this. Paste it back. Okay. Replace. Da -da. Okay, now it works. Okay, so after dealing with all those errors, let's test this out again. Alright, we're going to go into multiplayer WAN. Choose my character. I'm going to create a game. And notice that my Chronicle's on the list. Let's see if uh, all my fixes and stuff are applied. face. See that? We got a working mirror. That's how you get a mirror working. Ta -da -da -da, ta -da 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 -da. See that? Isn't that cool? That's so cool. And let's check out our double doors. Notice that they both open. Notice that this one opens a little more than this one. On it to close it again. And either one of these will open it. We'll see? There we go. That's our basic map. We got a we got a little house here with with a short storage here. It's a torture house. Has a guillotine and a and a torture bed and another room with a mirror and a working door. With a different sound. So that's how you do it. I hope you have fun mapping out there. Um, I'll, I'll include some more tutorials so you can make something even more complex. Um, well, I'm going to use these two maps to show you how to create uh, scenes and uh, uh, quests and all that fun stuff to essentially create some gameplay in addition to an empty map. So, over and out.